Okay, guys, here is the Google Docs version of the <coughs> graph that you need to create. You're going to end up with one of this with all five trials graphed on the same axis. This is a little bit different than Excel. So I'm going to have my data all written out like it is here. <coughs> Unlike Excel, I'm going to have to change <coughs> my absorption to say whatever trial it is. So I'm going to go ahead and change all of my absorptions to whatever trial they are. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight all of this, my X, my time, and my Y, my absorption. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control, to hold it down, select Trial 2. Still holding down Control, Trial 3. Just the absorptions. Trial 4. And trial five. I can let go of control, I can let go of everything, and I'm here. I'm going to go to this button right here, this insert chart, like that. I'm going to go to chart types. Scroll down until I see scatter, and I want just the dots. And hey, look at that. Looky, looky. I got five lines. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to go to customization. Uh, my title of my chart, uh, absorbance of all five drops. Sure. Okay. My horizontal axis is time versus second, so I'm fine with that. Um, I'm going to change the max. I've got this big, this 40 set of data right here that just kind of silly. So I'm going to make the max be 120 so it lines up better. <clears throat> if you look at that, much nicer. Left and vertical. It's not trial one, it's absorbance. Why we did what, why we changed the Y value is so that over here, it says trial one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, I'm not going to mess too much with the mid and the max. You can if you want to. Just don't hide your data. We want to see it. Hey, down here, series, trial one. You can mess with the color, point size. If you want to make it a certain color, be my guest. Oops. Okay. But down here, trend line. I'm going to make it linear, and here's where we deviate from Excel a little bit. Label, use equation, and I'm going to show my R squared value. Before I, I gotta, now we got to do the other four. To do that, I'm going to go back up here to series, trial two. Trend line, linear, use equation. Show R squared. Trial three. Linear. Use equation. Show R squared. And trial four. <clears throat> Trump line linear. Use equation, R squared. Okay. So what you might do, which is what I did the first time, is I accidentally hit insert. And then I got this. Which is all fine and dandy, but I need all of the equations of the line to finish this. I need that information. So if you do that, you're going to come up here to this little arrow right here, and you're going to click. Advanced edit, delete chart, da, 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 do not click that. Advanced edit. 
and it's going to take you back to the spring. Go all the way back down to the bottom, drop five, headline linear, use equation, show R square. Let's make this a little bigger so we can see some of this stuff. Um, since I can't see all of this, so I'm going to mess with this a little bit. So if I want to move this, unlike Excel, I just can't move things. So I'm going to click within the graph itself where it says move and resize. Now I have the ability to actually move it about the space. And now if I look over here, I can see everything so much nicer. I can fix font sizes, whatever I need to do <clears throat> to make sure it actually you know, is legible and readable. All right, come back here, fix this size, whatever, whatever I got to do. So, much like in Excel, I want these lines to be as linear as possible. So to do that, I'm looking at trial one right here, and these first three dots are just kind of a mess. So I'm going to come over here to time, and I want to get rid of these first three parts. This is my first one, six is my second, 12 is my third. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete. If you notice, it's deleting it from all of them, which is super nice. That makes everything so much easier on us. We don't have to do everything. Now, again, I don't want to delete any more than three from either be the beginning or from the end. Only three. As for your data, the rest of your data, I go to sheet two. Okay. Checking out the analysis. Okay. I want my slope, which is this number. I am going to round it. You can leave it in scientific notation. But I am going to round it. I want two numbers. So for trial one, it would be negative three, so that's two zeros, two five. Here, negative three, so that's point zero zero one eight. So for trial three, that would be 0 0.0018. Trial 4, 0 0.0017. 0 0.0018. 0 .0016. Then I can go from To see how to do the rest of the analysis, check out the first video from Excel about the last 